Well guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're upcycling our pound shop items into a bit of home decor, a bit of glam. So let's get cracking. So, so you remember these boards I had? So these are the glass chopping boards and I said she was gonna upcycle them using the vinyl wrap from the pound shop. So here I am just scraping off all the paint using a paint scraper. Um, I don't know if it's a paint scraping tool, but it's, it's a scraper tool which you get from the pound shop. And I think you get about three in a pack. Once I've done that, I'm getting obviously the vinyl wrap here and I'm gonna measure it up and I'm gonna cut it out. You know, the, nor the normal stuff you would do. And then I'm literally gonna cover it. So I'll, um, I'll stop talking for a second and uh, you can carry on watching the video. Now onto our next little project. Again, these three items are from the pound shop. That's all I'm using, apart from a bit of glue out of my glue gun, obviously, to attach the crystals. All I'm doing is going to attach all these crystals all the way around the perimeter of the um, of the glass there, or the, or the mirror. And you get these mirror bases, as I say, in the pound shop, along with the crystals and the candle holder. Um, and what I'm going to make here is like a tear tray. Basically like a little stand where you can put display, you know, your china on there or um, candles on there, you know, just it's just a little display tray and that's all I'm creating here. It's not huge, so you can only get a couple of things on there, but it's perfect for what I wanted to use it for. the candlestick holder there and I'm tipping it upside down so where you would have the candle on the opposite end I'm tipping it up the other way so I don't need to take the label off it was more secure more stable to have it upside down with the mirror on the top rather than the other way around and here is the final product and I'm just teaming it up with a couple of candles 
um, and a faux candle also. On to our next little project. So this is the little oil burner or your wax melt burner. Um, and I just want to give this a bit of texture around where the black paint is, if you like, or, you know, the black, the black part of the decor. Um, and I'm just using the filler, all-purpose filler from the pound shop. So you just scrape it all around. Um, I've got extra large gloves on there, so they keep falling, falling up. Um, so that they're not a great thing. You need really tight gloves on to do this. But anyway, we're just adding the filler all the way around, um, creating, as I say, a bit of a texture. That's all we need for this part of the project. I'm going to cover all the way around there and then I'm going to start on the inner circle on the black as well and I'm going to cover that also. Okay guys, so I've let this dry for 24 hours. However, it was dry within two hours. Um, but anyway, I let it dry for 24 hours. And um, I just can't, coming in now with a sanding block, I wanna get rid of a, quite a big chunk of, of the filler, take it right the way down because I want some of the black to show through just to give it a little bit of contrast. So I've just got my sanding block and I'm just going all the way around um, rubbing it really, really well, getting off any, any debris, any really chunky bits what are sticking out, just to rub it right the way back. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit smoother. So the next step is getting my uh, rub and buff, which actually is called metallic gilding polish. This actually comes from Hobbycraft. Um, I'm using little makeup sponges, which you get from the pound shop. There's something like 30 in a little packet there. Um, and I'm literally just dabbing it all over with the little sponges just to give it that little bit of gold glam look all the way around. I'm doing the inner circle and all the way around the edge. And here's the final look. I've added my little wax melts on the top there. I've just got a faux uh, votive candle there just to give you a bit of a, a bit of the look of how it will look if I had a real candle there, put it that way. Um, paired it on my tray there with some candles and um, yeah. And there it is on the boards on the, um, on the grill as well. Not the grill, sorry, the hob. On to our final project. I thought I'd better throw in a little, uh, a little Valentine's decor. So we are using the red paint, the purpose filler again, the stencil from the pound shop, paintbrush, the little, little chopping board, mini chopping board from the pound shop also. And I'm literally going to paint this red. Now this little pot is a tester pot. I believe it's from either Home Bargains or The Range. Very inexpensive, there's something like a pound, 120, something like that. Give the paint a stir, um, and I'm literally going to do like a bit of a whitewash over it. In other words, I'm going to dip some paint, the paintbrush into the paint, paint some over onto the board, and then I'm going to dampen it down with a bit of water, 
just to loosen the paint up a bit because I don't want it so thick. I want the kind of grain to come through on the board and you'll see me do that in a moment. Once it's completely dry, take your stencil, get your filler ready, because what we're going to do is we're going to smear the filling over the top of the stencil. So here I'm just playing around deciding where am I going to put this stencil, but I end up putting it near the bottom and at an angle, because I'm going to put a bow at the top. Once you've got your position where you want your, tent, your stencil, get your filler and you get back of a spoon or a spatula, whatever you've got, give it a little stir uh, just to loosen it up a little bit and then smear it over the stencil, but hold the stencil down in place just so it doesn't move about. Smear it all the way across and then we're gonna scrape it off. This is gonna leave uh, a 3D effect. So the next step is to get a scraper tool or a back of a knife or something where you can just scrape off the excess polyfiller. I've got a scraper tool from the pound shop. Scrape it gently off, not moving the stencil. You need to be nice and tight. Get the excess, scrape it back in the pot, and then we're gonna gently lift off the stencil. And here you have your 3D effect. Now obviously you can paint this if you want to change a different colour, but I actually think it looks perfectly alright as it is in the white. It's perfectly set and it looks really great. And now we're just going to add some embellishments. So I've got a bow to put on, a gingham bow, a little rose and maybe some little jip there, but I don't end up using the little jip. I just use the bow and the, uh, and the rose. And of course you can use the stencil to paint the I love you sign on there. You don't have to have the filler. The reason I wanted the filler was to make it a 3D effect so it stood out. And it it does look really good actually. When you, when you see the final look, how I stand it up in a moment, you'll see it looks really cute. So I'm really pleased. Well, my little lovelies, I hope you enjoyed that little video. 
just a pound shop, easy, they're really easy little DIY projects, which, which if you're a crafter, you know, you're not, you know, you can just pick it up just like that. If you're not a crafter and you want to be a crafter, have a go. Honestly, they're so easy, these little projects and everything I've got, um, let me think, more or less is from the pound shop. So really inexpensive. Um, the rub and buff is called, actually is called metallic gilding polish. And this is from, I was going to say Hobby Lobby, Hobby Craft. Um, I can't remember how much it was, but I can find out the details and obviously flash it up for you. The funny thing is, this actually has a sponge in there and I don't know how you get it out. So if anyone knows how you take the sponge out there to use it, can you leave us a comment so we can we can share this information because I have no idea. But it says it on there, it comes with a sponge and I, yeah, I can't get it out. Anyway. Simple little projects, little Valentine, a couple of little goldy pieces, you know, a little bit of glam decor. Um, but if you're a crafter and you want to share your craft projects, come and join our Facebook group called Stay At Home Crafts. I will link the details for you. It's a completely free Facebook page group to join. Um, I created it back in um, uh, lockdown when it was stay at home crafts because obviously we couldn't go out. So it, the, the community over there is now building. We've got, you know, I mean, it's not a massive, great big group at the moment. We've got, you know, we've got 200 people on there. Um, so go over there, I'll put the details below. So if you're a real crafter and you want to share your crafts um, um, and you want to link your, um, if you've got an Etsy shop or you want to sell anything, honestly, it's completely free over there. So go ahead. Go and join it um, and then you can upload all your crafts on there as well so it'd be, it'd be lovely to see you over there as well all the rest of my social media also we'll link everything below for you so you can have a look we've got the private group where um, I do teaching obviously as well do private tutorials so if that's something you might be interested in go over there and don't forget to click on the subscribe button on this channel honestly when I when I look on there I see so I get so many views on there and half of them are not subscribed. So come on, hit the subscribe button. Ugh, get your teeth in, hit your subscribe button. Doesn't cost anything, it's completely free. Um, and then you'll be um, alerted when I do more videos. Anyway, you take care guys. Have a lovely rest of the weekend or evening or week or whenever you're watching this and I'll see you soon. Toodle pips, bye.